not one, not two, but three crowns. Same time. I'm sure our YouTube already audience is loving to hear about this. Uh, I had a situation which is called a leaking Philly. Don't Google it. It's horrific. It's it's when you leak. If you have a filling too long, they can wear down. And we're talking these are fillings I got back in the two thousands. Okay. And along the edge of where they meet your tooth, they can start decaying from that edge in under the filling. Yeah. I mean I got this they didn't I got it in nineteen ninety five. Is it a metal one? Yeah, I cracked oh, you're my fine. tooth at baton twirling. Pra- I cracked my tooth at baton twirling practice in. It's the composite ones that do it, typically. Oh, okay. Because the composite okay. ones wear down, the metal ones don't. At least that's my understanding. Um, and it's not even a very big gap. It's just enough to let the decay in. And it was yeah. terrible, and I hated it for years. I had this little brown line where where the two met. I sucked. And the other problem was if I left them go much longer. That that decay line would just already happen to one of them. It would just break, and my teeth would go click inside. So they had to fix that. They had to take out three at once. And this one right here is quite temporary, and it's actually not cemented in there. Uh, yeah. They 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 jammed it in place, which okie dokie. Um, it's held in by the power of prayer. Man, the, the, I was telling people about this earlier. The teeth are here, and they want you to breathe through your nose while you're in the chair, right? So the teeth they're drilling and destroying are right here and tur- with a drill, and my nose is right here, so I'm breathing in my own teeth. That can't be good for you. And it, you smell burning here, right? I, I've had... I've had crown stuff, so I know the exact smell. Yeah, because burning like, teeth I know that smell. is somehow worse than burning hair. Yeah, it's bad. So I, I was, I snorted and my own like, teeth. When I had to have that done, the worst part was it like, it, they numbed you, so it wasn't the feeling, yeah. it wasn't the sound, it was the smell. Yes. Yeah, I did. it didn't hurt. It honestly, it did no, no pain there. It's just, yeah. Well, Grady can have a bath. Yes, he's decided. Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, he works so hard. So, yeah, I, I have, now I have, I got new teeth. That's weird. Which is another weird thing. Because you, you are used to your teeth. You, yeah. You know your teeth. After, like, it's not like, you know, like, oh, I've got a, a like a notebook. Or, but your tongue, you know the feel of the teeth in your mouth. And that changes and your tongue is like, what the Nine. fuck is this? Well, it is, of course... Time for the nonsense. This week is right. No theme this week, just general mayhem, I guess. Right. Get that intro rolling on here. Each week, after that our audience go on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Back here for the like we like to call. What the fuck is wrong? This one is just the irony. I someone just decided all of the irony goes to one guy that day. It's like they joke that every orange cat in the world shares one brain cell. Man stole fire. It is. It's a it, that's 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 a choice. Man stole New York Fire Department truck, crashed into pole, sparking fire. That's, that's not, that's not how that, that's. No, they're supposed to do the exact opposite of that. Actually. I don't, I don't think you've grasped the concept here. Yeah, you got that exactly backwards. Man, was this is Atlantic Beach, uh, East Atlantic Beach, New York. And was arrested on Saturday for allegedly stealing an Inwood Fire Department truck and crashing it into a utility pole, which sparked a house fire in East Atlantic Beach. Wilson Law, 22, seen in security videos entering the Inwood Fire Department, according to police, got to the Mark Department pickup truck and drove through the closed bay doors of the building. 
So we start off with the Kool Aid Man. This wasn't an opportunity thing like we usually see with the entrances. Like he went after that thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it's easy to find the keys. Like you know where the keys are. Yeah. Like when I used to when I used to do work for Southern Company and I had a van, we had like you know a box where they put all the keys at the end of the day. So you know where the keys. It being a fire truck, you don't want the guy, the fireman, to have to search for the keys. So there's probably like just a series of hooks. So the dude just goes in. Oh, I know that because my dad was a fireman, but I don't. Um. So he Kool Aid man his way out of there. First responders then called to a house on Mohawk Avenue around 1 a.m. on Saturday. While investigating the cause of the fire, police say the truck allegedly stole had hit the utility pole, cracking it in half and causing a transformer to explode. That's talent. I I have seen people knock over telephone poles and utility poles. I have never seen someone hit one so hard it cracked in half. No, my sister hit one and wrapped her Chevy Blazer up and around it. To the point where, like, where I went and saw that car, like, there was the distinct indent of a telephone pole. And if my sister was not very, very short, it would have been bad. With the assist- Luckily, she was very short. With the assistance of Long Beach Police Department, officials said they were going to find Aloha walking near Pennsylvania Avenue. So he just, he smashed into the pole, cracked it in half, blew up a transformer, set a house on fire, and just moseyed along. It's like, well, wonder what else I'm going to do with my night. What the fuck happened here? Perhaps I shall take in a picture at the local movie house. Like, how does your day start? Yeah, I shall what have a hamburger. You just get up and you're like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to steal a fucking fire truck. Yeah, what was... In, what? My, Julia, in, in my Julia Caesar-ass haircut. What was the point? I don't get it. Like, were you stealing it to do a job with it? Sure, I could get that. Like, were you even stealing it to, like, move your shit from one apartment to the other? Okay, sure. It's stupid, but it makes sense. Yeah, there's surprisingly little storage space inside a fire truck. Because it's all full of fire equipment. I have been inside a fire truck. Ain't nowhere to put your couch. Oh, you know, it's all full of fire stuff. I mean, why? What was... What the... He woke what up. happened here? Lupin the Eighth says he woke up and chose everything. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. It's interesting. It's like, how? Like, unless, at least, my dad was a volunteer fireman. So, like, the part of the firehouse that had the trucks was usually locked. Because the guys that were on call were in a different part. And if they needed the trucks, they run down. Like, you couldn't just walk into the truck bay. I, I don't... Someone's... Okay, I guess someone's hitting I mean, fire. It was on Long Island. Uh, like, it's Long Island. This is Long Island. Wow. I don't get it. Just... just like, see, this is why I make a... Te- There's so many reasons I'd make a terrible cop, but one of them is interrogations would be useless with me because I would sit d- sit them down and just be like, why? But it's just, I, even if you took the damn thing to water your lawn, it's stupid, but I get it. You know? Yeah, at least that's the reason. It's idiotic. It's like, what the fuck? But I understand A to B. This one went A to Q. I don't fucking, duh. Yeah. Well, we have more fire. Because, of course, we have more fire. I thought you said there was a theme. Oh, no, this is all. We got more shit. This is it's just general mayhem this week. And it's Florida, because, of course, it's Florida. Deputies arrest Vero Beach man with felony warrants after responding to his home catching on fire. That is a bad day. You remember that fucking, oh, what was that's it? That, 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 that Bill, that's that Bill flip Plitt dude. cartoon. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Indian River County deputies responded to calls about a house fire in Barrow Beach where an incident led to arrest of a man who had several active warrants. Uh, deputies tried to get the man living in the home, 34-year-old Wyatt Guy. 
away from the fire. Uh, they said he did the complete opposite. Guy ran inside. According to him, the reason... That's a hilarious sentence if you don't know that that's his name. <laughs> According to him, the reason he ran from us and dead bolted himself in high inside the house was because there were two dogs. And then he released them from the home into the backyard. So that's why he said he went into the house. That was on fire. Now, okay. All right. You save your dog from the fire. Sure. Sure. I get it. You dead bolted the door. Don't get that. Yeah. No. But the deputy said that was not the case. As the investigators saw, the dogs were already outside the house at the time. Officials then said Guy then explained the reason for starting the fire in the first place. He said he had gotten code enforcement called on his house because of the mess. He was trying to clean up the yard, at which time he started a little fire to burn some of the stuff. And the stuff then bounced from the fire pit to a boat and then transferred to the house. And the house just got fully engulfed. How? How did? How? It shall say when Guy ran to us. You were trying to burn your garbage because you're a fucking slob. Yeah. And you burned your dang house down. This shall say when Guy ran to his home, he locked himself inside for about 10 minutes. In a burning house? The only option he had was either stay in the home and possibly burn or come out. I figured he'd have to come out at some point in time, and he did. That scares soon. Yeah, you can you wait that one out. Investigators soon realized he was wanted for violating his probation on several felony charges, including burglary. Deputy said Guy eventually tried to run out of his home and away from deputies before he was ultimately caught and arrested. He was uncooperative. He was making excuses. He gave the other deputy a different name when they responded. I think he said his name was Dylan, which is not his name. Sheriff's office will be charging Guy for resisting deputies, giving a false name on Monday. Brings behind bars the Indian River County Jail on no bond. White Guy is not a smart man. No! So you're already, you're all, you're already in all of the trouble. Because probation violation, that's, you're going back. The, the, there's no saying. Almost, almost killed your dang dogs. Poor dogs. But, but there's, there's, you, you're good. There's no like, oh, sorry, or innocent or guilty. No, no. Violating probation, back to jail. Straight to jail. They, they don't say, they don't, they don't, they don't say, yeah. I just, <laughs> Shadow Rush says, look, buddy, over my dead body is just a metaphor. Don't take it literally. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I, and, and he said he was running away because he couldn't breathe. The mass don't mass there. <laughs> because I got to tell you, when I'm having trouble breathing... What I really want to do Take a is party a little bit next to size. Yeah. Yeah. Get the blood rate up. Yes. <laughs> See, I'm more. The kitchen's on fire. Them. No, mother. It's just the northern lights. I, I really hope they rehome those dogs somewhere awesome. Yes. Or just this. What? Sir, what's your name? Dylan. Dylan what? Dylan Smoke. It's... Ugh. I mean, Wyatt guy sounds made up. So... It does. It does. What's your name, Wyatt? What's your last name? G guy? <laughs> this next one is... Someone getting the ass beat. And they've got it coming. I swear to God, they've got it coming. This comes from South Euclid, Ohio. 
Oh, you stupid motherfucker. Suspect arrested after getaway car trapped at car wash. <laughs> Police arrested a man suspected of robbing an Ohio grocery store after his alleged getaway car was trapped at car wash. According to police, the manager at a giant eagle grocery store spotted a man leaving the shopping cart full of $500 in unpaid merchandise. She reported the incident store security, who saw the suspect attempt to get into a potential getaway car. However, officials say the driver of the getaway car had gone to a nearby car wash while the suspect was in the giant eagle. The car was trapped between several others and could both. Police arrested the suspect who had an outstanding warrant in South Euclid and charged him with theft. They also arrested the driver of the possible getaway car, who had an outstanding warrant with the Lakewood Police Department. <laughs> I know there is nothing worse than a dingy getaway car. <laughs> if you're going to steal $500 worth of groceries, which, as I understand, it is about three dozen eggs. Oh, Daddy says, gets that's a clean getaway. Oh... <laughs> oh, like, like if if you're if someone's actually shopping, mm -hmm. fine. You know, I'm gonna go run an errand while you're in the store. If they're shoplifting, you want to hang around. You don't want to be like, it'll be fine. I'll get this taken care of while they're in there. I'm just gonna run a Starbucks, run to the bank. I'll be back. We're good. <laughs> You you want to be timely. Just imagine on that. Can you just imagine the look on that guy's face when he's like, "Motherfucker, what are you doing?" I just this. this... I'm more picturing the look on the driver's face when the cops show up at the end of the car wash. <laughs> I just, I, my brain would shut down at how stupid. Like, you do not, you did not understand the fucking assignment. Like, imagine working in that store and you're on shift that day and this is, this is what's going on. Stop, come back. Oh, oh, it's fine. Let's just. Like, you come punch in and you're like, what's with all the cops? Did we have a, do we, we have a shooter? No, you got here in a shit. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I worked at Sephora, someone tried to steal a bunch of perfume from our store. That was our high theft item. And we had security footage the way that they eventually got caught, this poor person. They were like, they made it out the door of the store and then security grabbed them and they got pantsed oh. and fell down. And a security camera got the whole thing. And, like, had they not tried to boost, like, two grand worth of perfume, you really felt bad because you're like, that's on camera. That's embarrassing. And you were out in the middle of the mall. You got pantsed in the middle of the mall. That sucks for you. I just, I, it's just. I'm just going to pop over to the car wash. Just steal flow. <laughs> Is <laughs> it God? He's the the that 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 police ride, the ride in the back of the car. He was going. He was calling that boy everything but a child of God. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, you couldn't do the car wash after stealing all the groceries because there were probably going to be perishables. <laughs> you don't want the ice cream to melt. <laughs> well, moving on to Modesto and sometimes we get reminders. We think we're all advanced and shit. We've got digital watches. We've got airplanes. We've got internet porn. We think we're the top of the fucking food chain, right? Sometimes we get reminders. No, no. Y'all are still just really complicated monkeys. 
calling 911 on stars. California sheriff asked presidents to stop reporting planets in sky. <clears throat> Two shiny dots in the sky Wednesday night apparently startled some residents in California's Central Valley. Stanislaus County sheriffs took to Facebook Thursday to tell police to tell people they shouldn't call 911 as NASA confirmed the stars were in fact Jupiter and Venus. There is no reason to report this, the sheriff said. The two planets were close as Venus slowly, sh slowly shifted toward Jupiter, passing each other just half a grade of degree apart. The uh, comments of the sheriff's office brought a little humorous situation. Oh, what are, what are the I just want to point out. I just want to point out that the cops aren't much smarter because they're like, don't call 911 on the stars. By the way, they're planets. Well, Venus is the... Yeah, what are the cops going to do? What? Yeah, that's right. What are the cops going to do? Like, these are cops. They don't have a whole lot of moves. They can't shoot the star. After that, I, I think they're going to be... And they're not going to anyway because it's going to show up white. Oh, snap. No. Say it. But this is, this is like the, the, this is the equivalent of the startled howler monkeys. What? Well, the... You know, the, the, the news has been doing the whole UFO thing recently. And like, maybe, maybe UFOs are real. By the way, they're UAPs now. We don't really know. Chinese spy balloon. Like, there's been shit going on in the sky. Hello. Uh, he's complaining. Hi, buddy. Oh, no. He's complaining. Uh, well, no, they are, they are UFOs. UFOs are real. They're unidentified. Like, we have tons of UFOs all the time. It's just yeah. none of them are aliens. None of them. I mean, they might be. None of them are aliens. None they might be. They're not. How do you know? Because they're not. But, like, how do you know? Because they're not. Hey, buddy. I, I cannot conceive of a reality where in a vast and ever-expanding universe, we are the only life that made oh, it. We're probably not. We're pro there are probably plenty of other life forms out there. It's just the problem is physics. And relativity, and the fact the closer you approach the speed of the when you approach the speed of light, you eventually reach infinite mass. That's 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 not possible. So there's nobody is coming around. We don't. There's nobody local, or we would have picked up signals long time ago. So they're going to have to come from a ways off, and that's a long ways off. And they have to figure out how to do shit we haven't figured out how to do yet. Which, admittedly, the fact that we're calling the police on the yeah. stars says exactly. we, we have a ways to go ourselves. That's true. And setting our own houses on fire to clean. Hey. Please burn his little head off. Look at the boy. Oh. Oh, such floof. Are you happy? He's not happy until he gets to crawl up on top of me and scream. Also, he does this thing where the front part of him is laying down, but he's standing up on the back. I don't understand that. Simba does that. And now the new thing, Sim this, what Simba does now, now that I am bald, he curls himself around my head while I sleep at night. He keeps my head warm for me. Only problem is then if I make sudden movements, sometimes he snaps at my head. So, be a little careful about flipping over or getting up to pee. <laughs> <laughs> so, what he does, the comfort thing. Start long. Yeah. That's great. All right. So, but otherwise, it's very sweet. We have more Florida. Lady, you deserve this. I'm sorry. How goddamn you stupid. Jesus fucking Christ. How literal? How dumb can you be? 
They missed a whole bomb in my bag, woman says at Fort Lauderdale Airport. Oh, man. Landing her in jail. Yeah, it would. Broward Sheriff Office deputies arrested an Ohio woman Thursday, Tuesday after they accused her of making a bogus bomb threat at the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Deputies responded to Terminal 1 at 105 after TSA reported a security alert from a carry-on bag belonging to Dorian Young Davis, Dayton, who turned 26 on Sunday. Happy birthday, according to an arrest yeah. report. Authorities said while being patted down by a TSA agent, David was heard saying, whole time they missed a whole bomb in my bag. I assume she was joking. Because they're calling it a false report. So I assume she thought she was being funny. Yeah. She she thought she 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 thought she was gonna be, get down at the chuckle hut that Saturday at eight PM to they don't drink. Really do that there. No, no you, you, they don't really do that. There are no jokes about explosives <laughs> in the airport. <laughs> None. Not one. Not not any. Is zero. You, you, it's like I've I've told you a story about a uh, musician I like, Richard Chandel. He was in uh, Savannah one year, and he was telling us from the stage he uh, he got stopped by the TSA because he told them he had a bazooki in his bag. They got they freaked out a little bit. It took them a while to understand that a bazooki is an instrument. He was not carrying a. Uh, <laughs> Jay Cog is like, you call him Robert. If your uncle yeah. is Bob, you call him Robert. Your mom is mother. Mother. Yep. They don't fucking play. They do not, in fact, play what's so fucking ever. And also their job sucks and is thankless. So they have no reason to give you the benefit of the doubt because their job sucks all day. They have to smell people's socks while they get yelled at in a hot, crowded place where no one wants to be. Wait, don't meet, don't meet, don't meet them. Don't make their, don't make their job harder. Like you, you deserve the jail. You didn't have to do this. No. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't, you know, hello. Hello, Bob. Hello. It's great. Just. Trying to find yours. Valkyrie's out. Well, no, Valkyrie's out having a little snack. I should have known it was her because she's the only one that would call her to snack against the side of the bowl. Because I have not managed to hang a bell on her. Well, yeah, she's the, the almost feral one at this point. Yeah. Well, we go from the one extreme to the other extreme, which is also you fucking deserve this. Holy shit! And this guy is just so bad at it. That's that's what what makes this so stupid. He's so bad. At it. Man arrested after explosives found in luggage at U.S. airport. FBI agents have arrested a man who allegedly brought an explosive device to a Pennsylvania airport on Monday. Mark Mupley, forty, is accused of putting the device in his check bag for a flight to Orlando, Florida at the airport after his name was called over the loudspeaker to rest at his home later that evening. TSA officials said they spotted the device during a routine screening. Uh, in charging document, FBI bomb technician Jared Wittimer said a three-inch device hidden in the lining of the suspect's rolling suitcase was found to contain fuses and explosive powder. Quick fuse... Uh, which pretty part of the original manufacturer of the compound, and a hobby fuse, which was added post-manufacture. Powder spec to be a mixture of flash powder and dark granulars used in commercial-grade fireworks. Set full at night from heat and friction and pose a significant risk to aircraft and passenger. The bag also contained a can of butene, a lighter, a pipe with white powder residue, a wireless drill with a cordless battery, and two circuit breakers that were taped together. 
So the thing is, the reason they ask you about, do you have any of these fucking things in your fucking bag, is not because it's on the honor system. They're not asking you and expecting you to tell them the truth. They're asking you because if you do say so, and they find that shit, you're in even more trouble. They look. They, it's very easy. They put all the, the things on a conveyor. It goes through. It goes through the x-ray. They look through the shit. It's not like they're just like, put them in the bag. They, they'll just like throw them on the plane and cross their fingers. But here's my question. Was he going to get on that plane? Probably not. But then again, I don't know how this thing was... Maybe he was, he was like, taking it with... It doesn't really explain how it worked. I guess he was going to get on... I don't even fucking know. Because if you were going to check the bag just to blow up the plane, wouldn't you then leave immediately? Like, why hang out waiting for the plane? And I love how they called him over the speaker. He's like, oh, oh, no. No, no. No, thank you. Oh, and he just... And he goes home! They'll never find me here. Not as though all my personal information is attached to that ticket. I mean, on the one hand, I'm glad he's a complete imbecile. That's a good thing. Yeah. On the other hand, Jesus Christ, you're a complete imbecile. I am concerned that he's a complete imbecile who can build bombs. Or something. I don't even know if it was exactly a bomb or just a bunch of explosive shit he threw in his suitcase. Yeah. Also not great. Like, like can you... I'm pretty sure the FBI was like, he went where? I'm, I'm sorry. He, he went where? Air travel has been extra scary lately, man. Like, today, two planes collided on a runway in Boston. Yep. Someone pulled a fucking knife on a flight attendant and tried to open an emergency door. Like, I might be living that Joe Biden live and taking Amtrak everywhere from now on. I... This... It... I, I'm really torn on this where I'm like, thank God this is this fucker's a complete moron. But on the other hand, Jesus Christ, this guy's a complete moron. But also, what was this complete moron doing? Right? I don't... What was the... What the... What was even the plan? Yeah. It's just... This fucking... I mean, everybody's all like, no, I'm, I'm driving... I'm driving from down... They found it, is the thing. Like, the easiest yeah. thing to find is some bullshit in checked baggage. Yeah. I mean, I'm less worried about that at this point and how many planes are almost hitting each other on the runway. Yeah. But that's been happening, like, a lot, a lot. But you, all your laws are everything. Good lord. Floofy. You happy? He's happy? He looks pretty content. So, yeah, what, what have we learned this week? Um... They check your bags. Yeah, they do. As we learned that. I don't know why who had to find this out again. I, I I'm not sure why. I don't know, I don't know how this is remedial information. Thank you, Grady. Thank you. I have twice had them check my bag and break souvenirs I bought for people on trips. So I'm amazed. And I they leave a little they, and they just leave a little note like, oh, we checked your bag and some stuff might be damaged. I had see. I had to check my guitar one time. I was I was like, I'm amazed it arrived in one piece. Um, so yeah, we that they they check that shit. And also, don't there is no comedy in the TSA line. What the hell? You are not you're not doing your tight five in front of Howie fucking Mandel. I am so over-the-top polite to TSA people, even if I'm fucking grumpy and tired and hot, because however grumpy and tired and hot that I am, they are ten times worse. 
So like, if I'm flying out at three in the morning and I haven't eaten and I'm tired and I've been lying for an hour, I'm still like, hi, how are you today? Good morning, because their job sucks. And I don't want to go to Gitmo. We've learned that if you see lights in the sky, not call the police. Because one, yeah. what the fuck are they actually going to do? And number two, you could get lucky and leave. I mean, for fuck's sake. Maybe maybe they'll take you away from here. Right? I don't know if you've looked around lately, but our shit's a little fucked. That's like winning the lotto, all right? <laughs> shit. Just go to Xandar. God. We got learned, pink people that we learned if you're the getaway driver, you don't get to just run a couple errands while the crime is happening. No. Like, holy shit. The fuck we this is the fuck this is the, 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 I just that, that guy. You gotta be on call. You gotta be available. That's your whole job. He's getting in the car, he's like, I cannot believe this what has just fucking happened to me. You are the dumbest oh, person. I thought you'd take longer. Car was dirty. We've learned that uh if, if your house is on fire and the cops show up and you have a warrant, um you can't go hide in the fire. That's yeah. well, I you, guess you, you kind of already you kind of already lost. I mean, you can hide in the fire, but then, you know, that's all you're ever going to do ever again. Right. That's kind of it. And finally, we've learned if you steal the fire truck and cause a fire, have you become a living fucking paradox? 